Season 3, Episode 9. Nope, I'm sorry, Episode 10, A Circle Divided. Didn't I tell you that Isabella liked K? Single white female vibes all up and through. Let's get to it, y'all. Uh, before that, again, just a simple suggestion, reminder. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have enjoyed these circle um, recaps. Like the video. Thumbs up the video. Um, leave some comments below. No spoilers, but leave some comments below. Let's talk about it. Share me with a friend or two or three or however many. And let's get right into it, y'all. So... Um, as predicted, James called out Isabella as being a catfish. He has said throughout, you know, um, excuse me, he has said throughout several conversations he thinks she's a catfish. So that shouldn't have been a shock. And then Isabella gonna say that he said that because, oh, she's so perfect and nice. No, nah, girl, you're giving catfish vibes because you're so focused on trying to divert everything away from you. See, in this game, when people are trying to divert attention away from them, it gives off a catfish vibe. And Isabella, you haven't been playing the game right. Whatever. Um, No one felt bad for you. Not in this household. Not in this black Christian household. We didn't feel bad for her. She's sitting there and looks like she about to cry. Girl, you are a catfish though. What are you what are you upset about? You're a catfish. You gave off catfish vibes. You got caught out. It is what it is. You still have your alliance. So like don't even trip about that. You need to be more worried about why. Um you need to be more worried about Ashley turning on you because Ashley's ass cannot be trusted. So, Daniel has a private chat with Kay, and they start to talk about Ashley, and Daniel kind of wonders, like, what happened that Ashley has seemingly turned on Kay so suddenly, which it was like once Roxana left, um, Ashley said to hell with the girls' alliance that they had, and she turned on Kay, and they were just saying how once Ashley became an influencer, she changed, she started playing the game a little differently, and she's letting it get to her head, which you have to play the game, but you can't go around crossing people either. So she did that. So it was kind of weird that they had an alliance, but you did that. You could have easily thrown somebody that you didn't, that you had never talked to name in there, but you threw an alliance. That was weird. So they talk about how they need to strengthen their alliance. Um, and they know that they have James. On their side, they know that James connected with Jackie because she like singled him out about gaming in her first um, circle chat. So they discuss working with um, James to get Jackie onto the minority side. <laughs> I probably shouldn't call it the minority side, but y'all know they are minorities in a way, and Jackie is too. So you know. So then we see James having a conversation with Jackie, and they get right to the shits. So. He gives off information and says that Daniel and Kay are like really good players. You can trust them and that Kay is not what everybody is making her out to be at all. Um, And then he kind of tells her the people she needs to look out for are at kind of Ashley, Nick and Isabella, mainly Nick, because Nick is flirting already with, in, in, um, with Isabella. So if he starts flirting with you, just be cautious about that because it's probably not genuine, which is really, really good advice to give someone coming in that, so we already know that these people are linking up or whatever, you know, their version of linking up. So if they start, if, you know, they start coming at you with the, you know, the what's up, it's not, you know, have some caution to it. So they go back and forth. They build a bond. James is cool because he is really being a genuine guy um, throughout this process. He's not necessarily attacking anybody. He's just keeping it real and being a straight shooter. So which Jackie seems to be one too. So it works. So we see Nick have a private chat with Ashley and Isabella. James has a private chat with Kay and Daniel. So they're both in there strategizing with the two groups saying that we need to get Jackie to come to one of our sides so that we have the advantage. Again, it's weird that nobody is wondering or talking about Vince. I don't know if it's editing, but I would still be. So who y'all think Vince is? Vince had, you know, like I would want to figure out 
who Vince was because that person was playing on everyone else. But if they cool with it, let's focus on Jackie. So each group invites Jackie, which is Viva La Revolution. And then they have um, the band, which is such a lame name. And then they have the band. And Jackie has to make a decision on, I guess she can only go to one group. Well, one at a time. I would be like, let me play it and talk in both groups at one time. But she went over, she trusts James. So she went over to the group with James, K, and Daniel, which you already know. And they go in. Like, it comes in. Daniel tells her that he's been made to feel like he's not a part of the cool kid group. And that they have already made it seem like they're the popular kids. And it's kind of on some you can't sit with us type. And Jackie was like, nah, I'm not for that bull with, you know, making people feel like they're not a part of the group. This ain't high school, whatever, whatever. So that's kind of like a strike against them. They kind of call out Nick saying that he'll say he has your back, but then he'll turn and vote you off the next day. Which I don't know how true that is. I don't know if if Nick actually had like a conversation with Roxana that would kind of lead to him or her thinking he wouldn't vote her vote her off. So that I don't remember. So if if y'all do let me know. But they just kind of like went in and then was like, you know, Ashley is just this, that, and the other. Isabella's been coming. Um Ashley turned on K suddenly Isabella has been like out for K for some reason and they just kind of lay it all out and everything they said was true. So it's not like they was up in there capping or lying about anything. Everything they said was true and like straight to the point. And Jackie was just like, I'm with it. I'm on y'all side. Let's do it. You know, I trust y'all. So then we see Isabella. Isab Isabella is realizing that I've been playing the shit wrong. She had a moment where she realized that she fucked up. And she was saying how she lost sight. She came into the game with the intention of being everyone's friend. And she created this like hyper, obses um, hyper obsession and just labeled Kay as her arch, arch nemesis for no other reason other than Aside from that, like I've said before, too, she likes her. It's giving me single white female vibes. So what it comes down to is Isabella was saying how she wanted to be Kay's friend. And when they never had like a private chat initially, she like turned her into this rival, this nemesis. No, the real reason is Nick played you against Kay and you still don't see it. Nick is not even that fine, y'all, for her to be flipping all over it like that. It is weird. So she has this private chat with Kay, and it's kind of like, I played this wrong. I'm sorry that you know, I've been gunning for you. Um, I really wanted to be your friend, but I, I didn't go about it the correct way. You know, you haven't done anything to me. And Kay, like, catches all the bullshit. And Kay is like, yeah. I haven't done anything to you. So Kay catches the bullshit, but plays it very classy based. And it's just like, you know, I respect you for coming to me, you know, as a woman and just kind of owning up to what you've done. You know, it's easy to get lost in the circle, but I respect you and, you know, good luck. And I like how Kay plays it. I'm always up for making new friends. She did not say alliance. She said friends. So I like how Kay played it where it was like, I'm not about to bash you. I'm not going to be rude to you and have that go back. I'm going to stay true to myself. And, you know, you got caught up in the game because it is at the end of the day, it is just a game. You know, you got caught up in the game. And because of that, you made some ill-advised um, decisions. I still say the biggest ill-advised decision is people seeing that Nick is gunning for Kay and it just kind of jumping on his on his side without having any real factual proof that she's a catfish or anything like that. So they end that chat and like I said, I wrote down it's because she likes her ass. She likes her. But see, that's how they do. <laughs> that was just damn Isabella. So we see Nick have a private chat with Jackie and Jackie likes mentioned something about music because Nick asked his catfishing as a musician. He don't know what the hell she's talking about. 
Um, and then Jackie just told him that she went to the other chat because she felt like she knew enough about him and she wanted to go find out more, kind of, you know, jap to them and find out more about them, about um, Daniel and Kay. She kind of twisted the truth, but I like how she did it because it made Nick think that that was the only reason why, when in fact it's because she trusts James, she trusts James Alliance, so that's why she went over there. So we have the ratings. Um, in sixth place, we have Isabella, not a shock. Fifth place is Daniel. Fourth is Ashley. I'm so over Ashley's ass because now that Isabella realizes her single white female vibes and her obsess obsessive vi uh, vibes, Ashley is like gunning for Kay. Why wouldn't you be gunning for Nick? Nick is playing y'all, but whatever. Um, Kay comes in third, Nick in second, James in first. So they get up to the thing and what killed me was they get up there before they start deliberating. Nick is like, well, um, Ashley and Isabella are completely not even up for discussion. Who are you to think you're going to talk to that grown man like that? Why would you think that he's going to kick off one of his people and just go along with it and not kick off one of yours? You need don't get mad because you didn't win over Jackie. Something about Nick is just very unlikable. It is very unlikable. He's playing a good game, but I don't like. I don't think his strategy works. But he is very unlikable. Um, he's not going to get rid of K. If anything, if anything, Isabella is going to leave. Isabella is going, it's either going to be Isabella or Ashley. I don't see Daniel leaving. It's either going to be Isabella or Ashley that's leaving. All right, leave your comments below. Subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, uh, thumbs up the video. I will check y'all in a couple hours for episode 11.